hi and welcome back uh, for week two of our media server configuration. Um, without further ado, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, now we're going to install MV server for Linux. Now we are uh, on the Linux side. So first, go to this link here mb.media and select our operating system which is the debian distribution and download this file here and then we're going to the terminal and first we need to make sure that we are on the download folder so that's that's the download folder here okay we need to cd there Okay, and then copy this link. Uh, I mean the command here. Command and sudo paste it into the password and installing it. Uh, jump cut. Few moments later. Okay, now we are uh, install. So the next step is to go to this here, uh, the local host, HTTP, and copy here, paste. Okay, this is the setup for the server. So display language, we're going uh, with English. English, next. Username, um, going to username, but we just type there. Yeah. Okay, password, confirm password. Okay, can we go? Okay, we have to enter the password. Just a simple password. to set up a media library so we don't have any media library right now we'll just next country okay oh here here it is Malaysia uh, next allow remote connection if I check all the connection will be blocked enable auto port mapping Okay, just click it next, accept the terms, next, finish, and we are on the server. Two very boring minutes later. And I'm back, uh, sorry for the delay. And after you install the the MB server, then you can go to the MB dashboard, which is right here. Click here and go to manage MB server and go to network and configure the IP address here, right here. To know your IP address, just type in IP dot and space a ip and space a and you know your ip address here copy this and go paste it on the lan server and paste the ip address uh, the ip address of 192.168.56 and 102 it uh, depends on your ip address of course and if the port there and now you can access it here uh, to know you how to access it, uh, just just copy this thing, copy this and run it here, uh, just like this, and you're in. Now you see this. This is the server here. I'm running on the Linux VM, which is connect to the 
push only adapter here connected and I and got the connection on my Windows uh, server so let's see if we can import some videos okay for now I think we need to transfer some file first and I'm using the filezilla to wait wait a minute uh, so let me just cancel this okay to connect to the server to transfer the file go to site manager here and get the IP address and the port number to do that uh, where's my VMs here first okay we already knew the uh, IP address is this but we don't know the port number so type in we first type in sudo lsoft dash i dash p dash n that will give us give us this and then we run uh, the same command but grab with listen okay and we search for the root and sshd and this is our port this 22 is our port so uh, we go to the filezilla and set our port to 22 and click connect connect establish okay because i already established a connection uh, then we came up with this this tab okay so i want to transfer my files to here students videos and where's the file my, my file is here to here and uh, wait. Uh, yeah, here, here. Here's the file. Let's transfer it here. Connected, starting, and it's transferring. Okay, now the file is already transferred. So we're going to create a library, a new library, content type. Mm, let's just say music videos. Okay, let's search for the directory. Uh, let's see where we are. Um, CD to videos. There, okay. So, PWD, it's at home. Home, student one, videos. Paste this. Okay. Just check the movie, Meredera. Uh, just click, click. Thumbnail, generate video preview, thumbnails, never. Mm, just leave it at this, like OK. And there is our video. Can we click it here? Hey, wait, wait, uh, not here. So we go back to our home, and there's our video. So we go into here, type refresh. And there's our video. And that is how you configure a media server. So thank you again. Uh, for the past day, I've been scratching my head to do this. Uh, uh, I hope that is informative on how to set up a media server and that's all for me. Thanks and bye bye.